welcome to another video! In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about changing languages when working with WooCommerce. There are three scenarios where you might need to do this. When you want to change the front-end language of a single language WooCommerce store, if you want to change your WooCommerce dashboard language without modifying the front-end of your store, or for offering your front-end store in multiple languages and letting shoppers choose their preferred language to browse it. So let's get started and look into each option. For the first scenario, I'm going to help you change the WooCommerce language for a single language store. Now, because WooCommerce is so popular, it's already been translated into a ton of different languages. So when you change your store's language, WooCommerce will use these existing translations to automatically change the language for all of WooCommerce's built-in content, like the Add to Cart button, the Cart page, Checkout page, and so on. For this tutorial, we'll assume that your store is currently in English, but you want to change it to, let's say, French. To get started, you'll first need to change your WordPress site language. So, in the Admin Dashboard, let's go to Settings, General, and find the Site Language dropdown. Select the language into which you want to change your WooCommerce store, and then save your changes. Once the changes have been saved, WordPress will also automatically change the language of your WordPress dashboard as well. So if you want to change this back for just your dashboard, while your front-end site remains in this newly added language, you can go to Users, Profile, or the equivalent in the new language, and change your dashboard language back to the original one. Now to finish things out, you'll need to go to Dashboard, Updates, scroll down to the Translations section, and click the Update Translations button. As you can see, my translations are already updated, so the button doesn't show up for me. But if you've added a new language to your site, you will be able to see and click it. Keep in mind that this approach will only change the strings on your store that come with the WooCommerce plugin and not the content you have manually added, such as product names or descriptions. Now in the second scenario, we will change the language for just the backend dashboard without changing the frontend language of your store. For example, let's say that your store targets an English-speaking audience, so you want to only offer your front-end store in English. However, maybe you're a native Italian speaker, so you'd prefer to have your store's dashboard be in Italian. WooCommerce lets you do that, and you can even allow different users to choose different languages for their own dashboards. For this, we'll have to navigate back to the general settings, select the desired language from the dropdown, and then update the translations just like we did in the first scenario. The difference this time is that we're only doing this so that the new language is installed. Since we don't want the front-end to be translated, we'll revert this change at the end. Once the new language is installed, you can go to Users, Profile, and select the newly added language from the Language dropdown. This will only modify the language for your user dashboard. Now all that's left to do is revert the site language back to English so that only your dashboard remains in Italian. And for the last scenario, I'm going to show you how to change your WooCommerce store's language so that it's available in multiple languages and your shoppers can choose their preferred one to navigate it. To create a multilingual WooCommerce store, we'll use the TranslatePress plugin. You can use the free version of TranslatePress if you only need one additional language for your site, that's two in total. However, if you need multiple additional languages, you'll have to purchase a pro license. So after you've installed and activated the plugin, you'll have to set it up. For this, let's go to Settings, Translate Press, and in the General tab, add a secondary language to your website. Just open this drop-down in the All Languages section, choose your additional language, and click Add. If you scroll down this page, you'll also see options to customize the language switcher that will be visible on your site, but for this tutorial, I'm going to leave them as default. Now, if you go to your site's front end, you'll be able to open the Visual Translation Editor and easily input translations for the additional language you've just added. Simply hover over every piece of content and click the pencil icon to open each string's translation field in the sidebar. If you have a bigger website, you could also use automatic translation by enabling the functionality from the Automatic Translation tab and connecting to a machine translation service but I will link a video explaining how to do that step by step below. And that's it! You now know how to change the WooCommerce language depending on your needs. For more information, make sure to check the TranslatePress documentation I've linked in the description below, 
Also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and would like to see more useful WordPress tutorials. Thanks for watching!